So today we're in wine country and we're in the city of Newburgh, which is a charming small city with a vibrant community in the Willamette Valley. And in this video, I'll show what it's like to live in Newburgh. We'll explore local amenities, take a stroll along the Willamette River, check out a local vineyard and discuss why you might want to call this place home. So please join me as we dive into the charming city of Newburgh, Oregon. So hello, I'm David Backhole and welcome to a beautiful sunny day here in Newburgh, Oregon. Now if you're new to my channel, please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a real estate broker based in the Portland metro area and I specialize in helping people relocate to Oregon. So if you have questions about real estate or need help deciding which cities or neighborhoods are right for you, please feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to help. Okay, so Newburgh is located in the heart of the Oregon wine country, about 25 miles southwest of Portland. It's a picturesque town and it's known for its friendly community, excellent schools and a beautiful surroundings. It's a mix of historic charm and modern amenities and Newburgh offers a high quality of life. So before we continue, let's take a look at the map to see where Newburgh is located. Okay, so let's take a look at the map and you'll see that um, Newburgh is highlighted in red down the bottom here. So it's southwest of Portland. Um, in terms of what you'll have nearby, um, Sherwood, a fantastic place, beautiful uh, town center, great houses as well. About a 15 minute drive away from Newburgh. To the east of Newburgh, you've got Wilsonville, another fantastic city um, situated on the Willamette River. Charbonneau, great, um, great little community on the golf courses just south of Wilsonville. And then um, you have Woodburn. Woodburn has um, a good shopping area. It's got premium outlet stores. Okay, so you've got things within about a 10 to 15 minute drive outside of Newburgh. But Newburgh has a lot going for it, so you don't need to necessarily leave the city itself. Now, um, this area right here, you'll see um, right here, so First Street and Hancock Street, there's quite a lot there uh, in terms of shops, cafes, bars, bookstores. And then uh, Portland Road, which is this diagonal main road here, you're more likely to find slightly newer stores along here. So you've got your grocery store, you've got your Starbucks, you've got your McDonald's, you've got various different stores along here, but it's more of a driving street, whereas here, First Street is much more of a walk walking street. George Fox University, so very, very close to this um, central downtown part of Newburgh. And then you've got several other parks nearby. Now, let me change the view to show you the satellite view because I really wanted to show you kind of the vibe you're going to get from a town like this. So Newburgh, a population of around 25,000. But look what's surrounding. You've got all these green, 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 green vineyards and fields. In fact, all these little yellow indicators are all the various different vineyards. And Rex Hill, which is to the east, is just outside the area. I cover that later on in the video. But if you like wine country, then Newburgh could definitely be the place for you. Okay, so let's uh, get back into the video. Now, one of the many highlights of Newburgh is its historic downtown area. Here you'll find a variety of shops, restaurants, and cultural attractions. And the downtown area has been preserved with its historic charm, with many buildings dating back to the early 20th century. It's a great place to stroll, shop, dine, and have a glass of wine.
the 2020 census show that approximately 25,000 people live here and it's doubled over the past 30 years. However, this has been a slow and steady growth rather than a big boom over a couple of years. So with that in mind, you'll find houses dating back to the early 1900s all the way through to new construction. And the average home size ranges from around 1,500 to 3,000 square feet and typically features around three to five bedrooms. And later in this video, I'll talk more about how much it costs to purchase a home here. It might be a lot more affordable than you think. Now there are some new homes coming to the area. Kalina at Springbrook by Palicia Homes is a master plan community at the eastern edge of Newburgh and they're planning on building approximately 400 homes. Now as you can see behind me the area is currently just dirt but if there's something you still want to know more about please send me an email, text or give me a call and I can provide you more details on pricing, timelines and floor plans. Now another significant landmark in Newburgh is the George Fox University, which is a private Christian university. Now approximately 4,000 students attend this university, which is fairly significant when you consider that the population of Newburgh is actually only around 25,000. And it's highly rated. In fact, the Wall Street Journal awarded it as the highest rated private college in all of Oregon. And if schools are important to you, then Newburgh is served by the well-regarded Newburgh School District. There's several excellent schools in the area with strong ratings. According to greatschools.org, the Antonia Crater Elementary School is rated an excellent 8 out of 10. Chehalem Valley Middle School is rated 7 out of 10. And then the Newburgh Senior High School is rated 6 out of 10. So Newburgh is home to numerous parks and green spaces, making it a great place for outdoor enthusiasts. Memorial Park, for example, offers sports fields, playgrounds and picnic areas. It's perfect for family outings. And then Ewan Young Park, which is where I'm currently at, this has beautiful walking trails and open spaces for recreation. Now one of the standout spots and recreational areas in Newburgh is Rogers Land in Country Park and this is located along the Willamette River. It's a perfect spot for boating, fishing and kayaking and the park offers stunning river views and a peaceful atmosphere. Now Rogers Landing isn't just about water activities, it also features picnic areas, open lawns and walking trails and it's a really great place for gatherings, picnics or simply enjoying the outdoors. And the park is known for hosting community events and it's a hub of activity especially during the summer months. So if you're looking to launch your boat for a day on the river or just want to enjoy a serene riverside picnic then Rogers Landing Country Park has a little something for everyone. Okay, so let's take a minute to talk about wine. And if you decide to move to Newburgh, then that means you're going to be in the heart of Oregon's wine country. The area is surrounded by vineyards and wineries and offers plenty of opportunities for wine tasting. Now there's around 25 wineries in Newburgh and approximately 80 wineries in Yamhill County. So this is not a place you're gonna be short of options. Now I'm currently at the Rex Hill Winery here in Newburgh. And this is nestled in the heart of the Willamette Valley. And Rex Hill is renowned for its exceptional Pinot Noirs and Chardonnay wines. And the vineyard offers stunning views over the rolling hills. So if you're enjoying this video and want to see more content like this, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. This helps boost my channel and allows more people to find my content. And do remember, as a real estate broker, I'm here to assist you with your real estate needs. So please do reach out to me if I can help you. Okay, so now let's take a drive through Newburgh so you get a better feel of what it's like to live here.
Okay, so I'm on my website, so let's take a look to see what's available for sale in Newburgh. Now I've roughly got the Newburgh area highlighted. Um, you'll see where there's numbers, that means there's more than one property for sale in that specific location, so we can zoom in further. But overall, there's actually quite a lot of homes available in Newburgh, so there's definitely going to be some uh, plenty of options. Um, you can quickly see that property prices tends to be in the 400,000s and in the 500,000s. That tends to be that range. So mid to 500s, you might find some a little bit higher, but overall, Newburgh's a lot more affordable than certainly Portland and some of the other surrounding cities. So you'll get, you'll definitely get more for your money in a place like Newburgh. Um, let's take a look at some of these options. So let's see, this one here, 549,000. Uh, this is a four bedroom, two and a half bar from 1800 square feet. This one here, in fact, let's dig into this one a bit more. Three bedrooms, uh, two bathrooms, it's $519,000. Uh, looks like it's a single story home as well. Uh, built in 2009, property taxes, just over $4,000. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1560 square feet. So overall, not a bad price, certainly again, compared to some of the surrounding cities. Um, as I said at the top of the video, Sherwood is very, very close to Newburgh, but it's a lot more expensive. So if you like that Sherwood style, Newburgh is definitely going to be a more affordable option. Okay, so this is a very pleasant home. It's got a nice front porch, decent kitchen, good sized rooms, a great room, nice and open plan. So it gives you some ideas on what you can get, get for your money. Let's take a look at another option. Okay, so let's take a look at another option. We'll give you a little bit of a, a different option here. This one's the one of the highest, most expensive options for 675,000. And we can see it's a four bedroom. It's two and a half bathrooms. It's 2,800 square feet and it's uh, built in 1998. So this is definitely one of the more expensive homes in Newburgh, but you'll see it comes with a free car garage, a great big front porch, and let's, uh, let's take a look inside. Huge wraparound porch, beautiful double doors to welcome you in the property. Vaulted ceilings, um, really big and grand, grand front room. It's kitchen. It was nice and light and bright and very spacious upstairs as well. So overall, this house feels a lot more spacious and open. This is perhaps not quite typical of the home you'll find in Newburgh. So let's take a look at, take a look at one more. Okay, so let's take a look at one more and we'll go over here in the west side. Let's take a look at this one here. It's listed for $599,000. So this is a, another single story home by the looks of it. 
and it's a three bedrooms two bathrooms it's just over 2,000 square feet and it's built on just over a fifth of an acre property taxes are $5,500 a year um, it's nice and spacious beautiful landscape front yard nice and green entry porch good size kitchen this is very typical for what you might find in Newburgh and one thing to say about Newburgh is that um, as I said at the top of the video, there was never an explosion in growth in the city. So the increase in population was a very steady and continuous climb. And what that means is that you'll find kind of an equal proportion of home styles and home ages. So it's a continued growth. So you will find brand new homes. You'll find homes from the 2000s, the 80s, 70s, and so on, kind of in fairly equal proportions. So hopefully that's giving you a good idea on what you can get for your money in Newburgh. You're gonna be somewhere in the mid 500,000s for a single family home. Okay, so if you're interested in Newburgh and wanna learn more about similar neighborhoods, check out my video on Sherwood, which is another fantastic community in the Willamette Valley, which is also surrounded by vineyards. Now please do reach out to me if I can help you with your move to the Portland metro area. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.